All right, everybody. Welcome to the Christmas Rocker. HRH does new wave of British heavy metal in Sheffield. And guess what? Welcome, Chariot. Yay! I was going to say, look at, looking a bit sweaty, but hey, you guys just played a blinder of a set. How, yes. does, how does it feel? Absolutely fantastic. We was um, shiting ourselves a bit because um, it was about 15 minutes. There was nobody in that place at all. And then uh, everyone's going, oh, the football's on. And we went, fucking hell. But then uh, eventually um, everyone started drifting in as they do. And uh, what a what a great reaction! What a great crowd! We we did Hard Rock Hell Nine um, a couple of years ago, and that was brilliant as well. So we was really looking forward to doing this one. It was great, special. I was going to say, did you guys actually think that you'd still be doing this all these years down the road? Sorry, I said, did you actually believe that you would be doing this all these years? Down the road? No, we wasn't. We wasn't planning to be playing in our fifties, but it just happened. We got back together in two thousand and four. Did behind the wire, seemed to work, and we've been steadily keeping you know, a few gigs going here and there. And Hard Rock Hell kept that going for us because they're such a great organisers and we really yeah. put on a great show. We're like it's always asked to do it, like the old culture wheel, yeah. That's right, it's the, it's the festival. When you got festivals and places to play yeah. and, and you got a target, then you can't lose, can you? It's a fantastic thing to do, you know. I mean, and the HRH brand itself, you know, now to be able to bring this specific genre into its own right at a festival level is absolutely fantastic. Well, that, that's amazing in itself to see a new wave of British heavy metal, metal festival. How great is that? You know, it's brilliant. Which, which means that the impact that you guys have had on a lot of younger bands have now got a platform to actually start playing for, well, you know. Yeah, and then the, the older fans, you know, because they come to see um, those types of bands, the older types of bands, then the young people have an appreciation for it, all their kids. Yeah. And it, and it, you know, perpetuates, bloody hell, perpetuates. Yeah, so, it, you know, you rock on, as rock it were. So, so any, any of the new, new up-and-coming bands that you think people should be keeping their eye out for? Uh, Spoiler. Spoiler's good. Um, that's um, a, a John Abbey. Yeah, it's a, it's a different. I, I don't even know what you call them. There's so many, there's so many subgenres now with these bands, isn't there? I don't even know what they call themselves. Hardcore or, or, or something. I don't know. But they're a good young band. Yeah. And they're doing it because they love it, which is which is all you can do, isn't it? Yeah. And I love uh, Raven Age as well, which yeah. is Steve Harris's. Uh, yeah. 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 Those guys are brilliant. I've seen yeah. them you know, yeah. about four times now, and so oh, yeah. Cool. And those young good. boys, British Lion, they're quite good. Yeah. So no comment. <laughs> Not so young now. <laughs> but all, all I can say. So what's next on the uh, horizon for Chariot? Uh, we're doing um, next year. We've got a couple of festivals, a couple of French ones. Uh, we've got Laz Fest, yeah. which is uh, Steve Lazarus who looks after the Iron Maiden fan club. He uh, runs a charity and a, a festival for that, Last Fest. So we're doing that uh, in March, I think it is. Yeah. So um, I forgot the date, sorry, Steve. Uh, so yeah, looking forward to that. Um, I was gonna say, where's well. the new album? Uh, it, yes. Well, we got, we got uh, the new album out, Demons and Angels, and we're writing a new one at the moment. Is uh, it gonna be like a part two? Well, yeah, well, yeah, we don't know, you know, it's, it's, we're, we're nearly it's there. It's not so much a concept album, it's more um, as the songs come out, as yeah, Pete writes. We're, we're pretty free-spirited with that sort of thing, you know, we just, as you write, if, if the idea is, if it's good, it's good, if it goes, you know, if it's shit, it goes out, that's it. Pete writes a lot of subject matter stuff. Which I write a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you, talk, you write a lot of shit or you talk a lot of shit? <laughs> and I talk a yeah, lot both, of shit. Yeah, yeah. both, yeah. Just a minute, you chap in the in the corner there. That's the lead guitarist. He's quite. He went off out of tune, wasn't he? Jesus. <laughs> and we're only fucking him about. No one out of tune one bit. Apparently. He was. He played a blinder. It, it, it was only for a minute moment, okay? <laughs> but anyway, he, he also uh, brought a lot of life to Chariot as well. Yeah because he's a new member, the original uh, member, Scott. Um, I don't know where he is, could yeah. be uh, anywhere, in a, in a cave in deepest, darkest Brazil or something. Um, I mean, he probably is, yeah. And uh, he looks like a caveman though, so he thought it'd fit right in. Yeah. And then, um, and it went from there, he's, he's just fitted so well with his guitar playing and stuff. 
So it, it adds another level to our playing as well, you know, makes us play better. Yeah, it makes it sound good. Yeah, yeah. I was say, it makes it sound good. Even, even when you make a mistake, you still make it look and sound good. He's not getting away with that one today. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, it's about the best I'm going to get. We'll say that, we'll say that, we yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, th this is the fun that you get to have with this type of music and with these type of bands after Absolutely. a few years. I was going to say 1980, so you're yeah. looking at it. And all I can say is, is it's been an absolute pleasure seeing you guys on it. Cheers, can't, Gino. Can't, can't wait for the new album. Yeah. And from me, I'm still Gino D. These guys are still Jared. Rock hell! And we'll